Hello guys, welcome back once again. Today we are going to learn that how to configure firewall policy on the 48 firewall. All right. So for this lab demonstration, I have one 48 firewall here. This is our DMG server and this is will be we can say our machine and but for the real life example, you can take it as like a switch here and multiple machines connected here but i have not taken switch just for the simplicity just one computer connected but the environment can be like that one for the complex scenarios right so and this part is our internet so this interface of our 48 firewall will be taking the dhcp ip address from the internet and we will set up a firewall policy to allow traffic from this internal network to our internet or we will also set up a firewall policy to allow from the internal network to DMD server, right? So let's see just one example here. And uh, without this one, let me show you first that how uh, without configuring firewall, are they able to ping these IP addresses or not? And after configuring the policy that are they able to ping or not? So let me clear this one and let's switch to the GUI of the 48 firewall. So this is my GUI, it has timed out, so let me log in it and just for the sake of convenient i want to tell you that i have configured the ip addresses on all these interfaces of the ip address along with the uh, this machine and this server here right and uh, how to configure the ip addresses on the network interfaces of the 48 you can watch my previous video i have another session for that one and as of now we are just focusing on the firewall policies so I'm not going to change any host name or something. I will just simply go to the firewall policies. So as of now, let me show you that are we able to ping the internet currently or not. So internet IP address 8.8.8 .8 .8 as of now, I'm not able to ping it here. And let me open uh, google.com. Are we able to do it or not? Uh, don't uh, conf get confused with the background page. I'm just opening the google.com and uh, as of now, it should not be allowed because we don't have any firewall policy to allow it. It's taking some time. Uh, seems like that one that it is will not be allowed, right? So that's why it is taking time. Let me take uh, uh, another website like CNN or something. Just try to search anything. Anyhow, it's taking time, but uh, let me tell you that it is not going to open because we don't have any fire, uh, rule allowed uh, through the firewall and by default, in the firewall we are having the implicit deny policy and it does not allow anything to pass through the firewall so let me show you that first for that one we have to go to the policy and objects let and there we are having the firewall policies all right so as we open the firewall policy we see that we have only one default policy that is implicit deny that traffic from any source any destination any service always action is deny right we don't want to pass any of the traffic through our firewall without our permission so for that one we are going to configure one firewall policy and i'm going to create put on click on the create new name first one i'm going to do it for the internet incoming interface i want to put it as a port one outgoing interface is for the internet it is port three let me show you once again incoming interface is port one here outgoing interface is port 3 here that is basically a DHCP IP address so all right and the source address uh, we can create a subnet for that one I have created uh, address group 10.1.1.0 let me show you how to uh, do it you can just simply there's two ways to create it either we can do it from here directly click create address and you can give any of the name like network 172.16.1.0 so this is the network i am creating or uh, let me put it like network underscore n underscore net uh, this is actually the for the sake of convenience that whenever next time anyone viewing this uh, object they can just uh, let us know that this is n standing for network that is not any specific ip address right type subnet i want to choose it here i don't want to we can choose it here ip range as well fqdn fqdn stands for the fully qualified domain name 
So we can directly put it any domain name here rather than giving the IP address. So these are the options we are having. So as of now, I'm going to use subnet here. And the subnet we are using 172.16.1.0 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0. That's it. And just hit OK comments if you want like something you are on the any change window and you want to mention any change number here that this is the uh, change number uh, under which you are doing that one. So for that sake of uh, comment section is there you can use it. Now it is created. I'm not going to use this one. This was just to show you because for this policy we don't need it here. I'm going to use the object this one 10.1.1.0 because my computer is under this network. Destination I want to put it any. I don't want to block any of the traffic here. So that I can drag and drop here. All the services I want to allow. I don't want to allow on any specific. I want to allow the users to use all the services. Next thing is very important which is NAT part here. So here uh, for the sake of convenience of the internet, I'm using NAT here and use outgoing interface address. So this is a part of NAT that if you are very good in the NAT, then you can understand it. If you don't want to, if you don't know the NAT, then not to worry, just enable it. This is just for my uh, lab setting. This is basically uh, so that I can use the internet and just uh, these are the security profiles. I will explain it later on that. What are these basically? If you want to use it under this policy, we can enable and use it. We want to enable or disable this policy. So by default, if we hit OK, this policy will be enabled and uh, we want that one we just hit okay so this will but uh, one thing i forgot i want to log this traffic as well so this is currently under utm that only security events will be logged but i want to log all the sessions not only security events so that's all set and there's one more thing to note whenever we just hit OK we don't have to do any save or commit changes something like that one or push anything on the firewalls once we hit OK everything is applicable on the firewall so this is very important whenever we're doing it we should be very careful uh, doing this configuration because they are uh, they will be impacting your production environment immediate effect right so let me just uh, show us that are we able to ping it now 8.8 .8. yes we are able to hit 8.8.8.8 .8. it means that we are having access to the internet so let me just check it that whether previous one so previous google.com was not successful oh now it's successful just after our firewall policy and now it we can open any of the website perfectly it is opening there's no issues in that one yeah one more thing that it will give uh, i think uh, security error most probably uh, because uh, we have enabled the SSL inspection so don't worry about these things uh, we will cover it later on in the later on videos so it is giving a security error because we are we have enabled the SSL inspection here that's it I think from this one I want to create one more policy for the DMZ server as of now let me just do it that as well Let me create one more policy. Create new. So this one is for the DMZ connectivity. Incoming interfaces port one. That's fine. Outgoing interface. This one is I think port two DMZ. Let me cross verify. Yeah, this is the port two and the source i want 10.1.1.0 that is my source here this network and 172 this one perfect and uh, services any all the services i want to allow or let me just allow only icmp remaining nothing is allowed all right action is accept i don't want to enable nat this time because that will be accessible no inspection allow all the traffic and log all the sessions enable this policy hit ok we have this policy now let me just uh, ping our machine and that should be pinging 
uh, let me just check it 172.16.1.1 i think it was and now it is there it's pinging without any interruption let's just disable this policy and then check it are we, are we able to do it or not let's disable this policy hit ok we have the policy this is the benefit of like uh, disabled feature we are having the policy but this is disabled means that this is not taking an effect now let's try to ping it now that are we able to do it or not and here we go uh, is working our firewall is working very fine it is denying the traffic and we are not able to reach our dmg server so this is the basically uh, no uh, scope of uh, firewall policies one more thing uh, let me just tell you or show you basically <laughs> so let me just enable this policy and uh, hit ok so this is applicable now and uh, now let me show you this uh, scope of these security policies that how they are actually working so now we are having a policies to allow it from here to internet we are having the policy allowed we have a policy to allow this traffic to here so these uh, two ping are working very fine uh, we are trying to ping 8.8.8 .8 but we don't have any policies to go to internet for this dmg server right so what you guys say that uh, if we try to initiate ping from here to 8.8 .8, will it be working or not what do you say yeah <laughs> it will not be working right because we don't have any firewall policy allowed for that one let's just do it uh, let me open this is basically uh, virtual computer i have taken it like as a uh, server so let me try to ping it from 8.8.8 .8 and it shows it says that uh, icmp is timed out now it's your requirement from your uh, organization that uh, you want to allow this machine to reach to the internet as well what will you do right so what are you going to do are you going to create a new rule no mate you don't have to create a new rule you have to go to this security policy what you have to do you have to just go to the source ip addresses you have to allow this subnet as well here you can allow two subnet hit ok now these two subnets are allowed to go to internet